Today on Adventures and Things, my friend Ross and I navigate the woods with ease. Nothing looks too traily. Oh yeah, there's nothing here, man. I don't see any marker anywhere. After a two and a half hour drive where we assumed death was around every corner, we went on a 45 minute hike to San Joseph Bay down an unmarked trail we knew nothing about. Luckily, we made it to what is obviously a trail and into a J-cut of me at the beach. Okay, so we made it to San Joseph Bay. Uh, it's a beautiful evening right now. Ross is actually out in the ocean swimming. My feet are just in it and they're frozen. I don't know how he's doing that, but this place is absolutely gorgeous. Over the next few days, we're going to be touring around here, checking out everything that we can. But right now, we're just going to hang out on the beach and uh, catch a beautiful sunset out here. Ocean one, Ross, zero. Thank you, Riley. Unfortunately, the sunset wasn't that great, so we faded into the next day where we decided to go to a place called Second Beach, aptly named because the first beach we went to was called First Beach. There are two ways to get to the second beach. One is wait for the tide and go around this point. And the other, which you will see later, is not quite as easy. But for now, here's some rock formations. such a nice beach that even the lion's mane jellies, one of the largest known species of jellyfish, wanted to be on the beach with us. However, because of the nice weather we were finally getting, we decided to go the opposite way of them <laughs> and grow some bones. I mean, go into the ocean. It'll come back out. That is cold. Great, great up there. And on that note, we decided to go to a waterfall. There might not be any glaciers up this coastal hill, but cheese is cold as one, and I'm about to find out just how cold. My feet already know, and they're telling my brain that it doesn't want to find out. <laughs> We're having so much fun that we decided to jump cut into the next day where we were going for a hike. Okay, so we are about to climb 460 meters from the sounds of it straight up, up Mount St. Patrick, and we're supposed to get these beautiful panoramic views. We don't really know if this here is the trail. This is our best guess. And from what we understand, it's basically just straight up the side of this mountain and we get a bit of a flat. It's gonna be about an hour and a half of a hike up, an hour and a half down. So, uh, it's, I don't know, it's gonna be, we'll see how it goes. Grueling. Make it to the top of Mount Forehead, North Vancouver Island, uh, highest peak in Canada. Um, took us about an hour and a half. 
Some of that might be true. Not sure if these clouds rolling in were gonna bring some rain. We decided to rush back down the hill, even though we knew we weren't gonna make the low tide. This is what happens when you don't get here at a low enough tide. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh this sucks, man. Uh, <laughs> For a swim, <laughs> like, and then walk around. Because how much do we have to swim after we get to that? Oh, Is there a whole other island after we get there. <laughs> do you want to just walk up? <laughs> so we got to get over there. Then we got to get up to that little like thing with the hoodoo thingies. Okay, so we decided that the uh, taking the ocean way is really stupid. Now we're gonna take the trail way. And I don't know if it's any less stupid because it's not like super marked or anything. Oh, maybe it is. There's a trail sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a little thingy. The hike started off promising, but suddenly became very unpromising. No distinct. Whoa. This kind of looks like a trail here. Okay. Uh, I'll take a look that way. I don't know. Nothing looks too traily. Oh yeah, there's nothing here, man. I don't see any marker anywhere. I think I see a marker up here. Yeah. No, nope, false alarm. We're right at the beach now. But can we get down? Okay, so we decided to go into the woods instead of taking the beach. Uh, we got a little bit lost. We found a path and then we found another path that we thought would take us down to the beach. But we're, we're starting to think that maybe the beach that this takes us down to is the exact same one. And we've just kind of walked in a circle to back around here. So this, like that water you see right there, that's where we were just swimming. So we were just swimming there. That's where we were going to cross. So now we got to climb back up this hill and then follow the other path that we saw. But I think we'll be fine now, I, I think, as long as we don't take any more detours. But uh, this might be the last video you ever see of me. So we got back on the trail, then back down to the beach, only to find out that we've only made it 10 feet. We found some people and they told us that we have to go back, look for a very steep drop with a blue rope. Oh, my butthole! Oh, this is the one at a timer, bud. That's pretty much straight down, eh? Yeah. All right, so Mr. Your host uh, of Adventures and Things, Michael Paul Wright, is about to descend down the blue rope into the jungly abyss of North Vancouver Island. It's legitimately steep. Is he gonna disappear? Will he return? I don't know if I really care anymore. Give me a holler when I can go. 
Yeah, yeah let me win. The rope's free to use. We descended back down the island to Strathcona Park, the big green bit in the middle of the map, and I learned about the rapture. Get out of Cape Scott down to Strathcona Park. We are here at Myra Falls. And uh, Ross has come here before and said that the lower part of the falls are better, but he also knows of a secret place that we're going to go to that uh, is apparently better than all of the other places. Also, he has asked me to kind of keep an eye on him because last time he was here, he had, uh, what was that called? The Rapture. He got the Rapture and uh, we got to make sure he doesn't die on this trip. Rapture in scuba diving is narcosis. In the wilderness, it's just jumping off things that might injure or kill you. Okay, so Ross and I are uh, gonna try to climb up the falls. I'm pretty sure the Rapture has gotten a hold of us. We're not 100% sure, but uh, we're gonna try to find out if we can jump off the falls and into the water. I don't think it's the Rapture. This is the early stages of the Rapture. Michael's scientific mind won't allow him to acknowledge the truth that is growing inside of us, but uh, I can't stop it. <laughs> it's got us! We made our way down to the super secret spot, which was more stuff to jump off of, and a sandbar out in the middle of the lake. To finish off this journey, we went to BC's capital city, Victoria. We walked around and looked at these particular things, then wrapped up our journey with some wise words. So as we close out this journey from South Island to North Island, back down to South Island, um, you know, I, I think we've had a really great time. I wanted to wrap this up with taking Ross on one of Victoria's favorite thing to do and take him out on a cruise. However, it turns out I got that a little mixed up. So uh, what I'm about to show you is the next best thing. So uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Tune in next time for another episode and uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll leave you with some bit of advice and, and the next best thing to a cruise. Vancouver Island, stick it to the squares.